Hey guys, if you wonder if the leap motion sensor is still worth buying in 2021, please keep watching and I'll explain you if it is or not. So guys, if you wonder, you know, the Leap Motion Sensor has been around here for quite some years now and it's been used by so many people regarding Unity, regarding Unreal Engine, regarding VR. It's been being used for so many reasons that people actually start buying this device even more, especially in 2021 because it's becoming a really big thing now. So we both know that the Leap Motion Sensor right here has been around for quite some years. And looking at the packaging, you already see a very small device, which actually fun enough have here, which is almost a dime size of a USB stick. So the nice thing about the Leap Motion Sensor, which I'll actually explain right now, is that for example, when you're using, when you're like at work and you wanna like control your computer or your monitor with your hands or fingers, this device, this small little device actually allows you to do so much that you don't even know what you're buying. So to give you guys a little like a slight backtrack on what the Leap Motion is, so the Leap Motion controller is an optical hand tracking motion sensor that captures the movements of your unparalleled ac accuracy of your hand. So the nice thing about this little device is that when we think about a VR system like for example mine which is the Oculus Rift S, we are very limited to what we can do with our fingers and hands. So obviously you can move around, you can use your arms and hands, but you can also pick up objects but you can't really move your fingers one by one. That's the only thing that the Elite Motion Sensor actually makes sure that you are possible of, or capable of doing that really. So obviously there's other ways to do this. There's for example the Volve Index from Steam that you can buy but it's a lot more money than the Leap Motion actually costs. And the nice thing about this one, the Leap Motion in this case, is that you can actually connect this one to your VR system. So let's say, if you know, if you allow me to grab my VR system real quick. So if we grab my VR system, for example, I got the Oculus Rift S. I disconnected it just to show you guys exactly what you can do with the Leap Motion Sensor. And the nice thing about the Leap Motion Sensor is, well, it doesn't stick to the VR system yet. You do have to make sure that you use something that you can either glue or stick it on your VR system just like that. And the moment you actually put this on, the nice thing about using the VR system is that it actually tracks your hands in front of you. So anything that you really do with your fingers and hands, it will actually track it. What you also can do is you can put this on your desk and you can start using it for work. I would, however, give you two simple steps, which is either if you're going to use it for VR, make sure that you actually clip it on your VR system because this allows way more better of an experience, especially when you're tracking your fingers and hand movement. Apart from that, there's also possible ways where I've seen videos of people explaining, you know, you can 3D print this little clip which goes onto your shirt or anything you like to put it on. You then clip the leap motion on your shirt like this and it actually starts tracking your fingers way better than it actually would on your desk. So in, in particular, to summarize my entire opinion about the Leap Motion, I've only bought it recently, so I've not been using it that much, but I am really, really pleased with this device. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I mean, I would love to be sponsored by Leap Motion, but I'm not. Uh, I do have to say that the Leap Motion is definitely worth buying. Why so? Because as I said before, the VR system and regarding the Oculus Rift S or HTC 5 or anything like that, you really get limited to the things you can do with your fingers and hands where this little tiny USB device actually allows you to do so much more. I will actually show you in this video right here, which is stock footage, that you can see that there's so much more that you can do with your fingers regarding actually using controllers. Now I'm not saying that the controllers of any VR system are particularly bad, but if I had to compare them to this device and the fact that you can actually do way more than you actually can with the controllers, is that this device actually kills these controllers straight up, like legitimately. The only thing you are going to find if you're playing games like a VR game or for example VR chat in this case is that moving around your character is going to be difficult because normally on the controllers you have these little thumbsticks where you can move around and well if you're not going to use the controllers but only your fingers regarding this little device you don't really have any way to move around so i've seen people talk about using a xbox controller right here so that you can actually start using that to move around so it's 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 worth buying for my opinion at least if you really want to you know get into v2 being into 
working with the VR thing, uh, playing VR chat, you know, getting the most experience out of your VR experience with fingers. This device is a really good alternative unless you're willing to buy a haptic suit, VR gloves or something like a Volvo Nix, which already costs over $1,300 and a haptic suit goes up to like $13,000. So I bought this little device, the Leap Motion, for about $90 to $100, which surely isn't... I wouldn't say it's, it's expensive, but it's also not cheap for some people. But it is definitely worth buying if you want to get a better experience in using it for VR or work. Um, that's just my honest opinion about this device. I just wanted to share you guys my opinion on buying the Elite Motion Sensor, what my thoughts are on this little device in 2021. And for a fun fact, I've been using this for quite some time, or not, not really for quite some time, but I've been using it for quite some time on Twitch and for streams, for example. And I can definitely tell you that this device actually really guaranteedly makes your VR experience a way better experience in general. And, uh, I will definitely be using this a lot more, especially regarding VR games. So once again, this video is not sponsored. I hope you guys like this small video. It's been only six minutes, but it's just to give you guys my opinion or my personal opinion about this little device. Uh, I can, however, say that it's a small, fast and accurate world class hand tracking device for anywhere and anyone. So if you ever consider wanting to upgrade your VR experience, this little boy definitely will help you with that. So once again, thank you guys for watching for this video. I hope you guys really find it informative. I hope you guys actually found it very helpful to have my opinion about this little device. Hope you guys like this video. If you want to, you can drop a like, you can drop a comment if you have any questions regarding this little device here or about any other of my videos and I will hopefully be able to help you out with any questions you have for me. So once again, hope to see you guys on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash official krill. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next one.